Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome into my channel, Miss Remy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into, oh, sorry, I'm being guided somewhere. Welcome into your reading. Welcome into my channel, if I didn't say that. Okay, where am I going? Hold on. Sorry, oh sorry. I'm being taken. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Virgo. Sorry. One second. Okay. Let me try that again. Welcome into your reading. This is first sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Virgo. I'm going to do your spiritual growth your personal development, healing, guidance, messages, and then I'll flow into your love reading. Okay, so I'll timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins, okay? Um, okay, so, uh, sorry, they're just like, every time I get into your energy, it's like non-stop, non-stop channeling. So I want to talk about what I've been feeling with you guys. And it's been very, very interesting. So usually I stay here with, with my book and I write so many words and um, channeled messages that I receive for you. I don't have my book here because I don't, when did I last do your reading? I believe it was like March 10th, so it has been a while. Thank you for your patience. But you know, channeling never stops. Channeling never stops. Just because I don't do a reading here, that, that doesn't mean that they're not channeling uh, messages through me for you. So I would kind of like peek in here and there on you guys, on your energy, and see what channel messages I need to receive for you. Nothing. And to me, to me, and for those of you that have been with me for a while, you guys know it's like always something. And there, I spend like six minutes talking about your channeled messages. Nothing. So I was like, okay, I'll come back another time. I went back in two weeks ago. Nothing. I went back last week. Nothing. Then a couple days ago, I was in my shower. And all of a sudden, I like blanked out. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I blanked out. And I was sitting there under the shower. And I went into a space. And I had no idea where I was. And then all of a sudden, I see what appeared to me was a hermit, like the, the hermit card, with a very little lantern. Like it was literally the hermit card. And then I knew it was okay, like, oh, I'm looking at Virgo. I'm like, okay, thanks, spirit. Like, you could have just told me so instead of taking me wherever I was. And then I realized that I was looking at you in this space. And I couldn't recognize the space. I didn't know where I was. And then I was trying to like call out to you like, hey, like, do you know where you are? Nothing. It was as if you couldn't see anybody. It was as if you couldn't hear anybody. It was the darkest place I've ever seen. It was like the deepest of depths. And... It's not a bad thing okay it's not a bad thing it's like you truly embodied the hermit card truly embodied it for what it really is I don't think the hermit card gets read properly at times and when we say when readers say going within like we like for me personally I've never experienced the hermit which is representative of you, go within like that. Like when I say you went within, like you went within. Like you, you went to a very deep depth of yourself. And I came out of that and I felt like I lost time. My because when I started my shower, like my hands were like, you know, my fingertips were not 
like uh, crinkly. But when I came out of that, my, my fingers were crinkly, my, at the bottom of my toes were crinkly. And I was like, okay, like I was there for quite some time then, which didn't feel like it at all though. Um, so then like I came out of that and I was like meditating on your energy and I kind of felt that you are going to come out of this energy. I feel like a lot of you are there. A lot of you are in that depth. Okay, there's lots of things going on there that will channel that I couldn't see at that time. I just saw what I saw. And then um, I was kind of like just meditating on your energy just to get a better understanding. And it was as if like I felt um, that you were just collecting eons of data of yourself. It was almost like you were accessing Akashic Records. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's exactly why they made me stop, pull up the Akashic Tarot for you. So it's almost like you're gathering these eons of data from your Akashic Records and you're like internalizing them. It's like you're gathering gathering them from this internet. Not the internet, the inner net, your inner net. Okay, your inner system. You're capturing all these <laughs> eons of data and it's like you're calculating them, you're processing them. When you emerge, um, I just kind of felt like you were um, um, operating at different frequencies. Remember that reading that we had where you were um, uh, connected to different fractals of reality? It's almost like, like you're like this octopus with so many te te tentacles. Tentacles? Is that the right word? Tentacles? Um, what am I saying? Yes. Okay, so it, that reading where you're connected and um, living in different fractals of reality, it kind of felt like that, but you were operating in this plane on different frequencies. Okay? And... Um, your crown chakra right, right now, I see an aura around it. A very bright white light. It's like the sun. Because the sun is actually um, white. It's not orange or yellow the way that we perceive it to be here, here on earth. So I feel like you have literally, it's like you have the sun on your head being illuminated. And it's almost like you have all of these dimensions that you're accessing so all these like fractals of reality but you're capturing all of these eons of data from those dimensions and they're being channeled and downloaded into your crown and right now you're like your processor is your third eye and so you're going to start operating different frequencies you're operating at different frequencies i feel like i can't sit still <gasps> dang it you guys always do this to me, okay? Does that make sense? So if you receive, for example, if you receive a dimensional download from the fifth dimension, you're going to operate at that frequency, okay? If you receive a dimensional download from the sixth dimension, you're going to operate at that frequency and they're alternating, okay? They're alternating, okay? Okay. Right. Oh god. Where do you guys where do you guys go? I mean, who are you? Seriously. You know it's because my heart's racing, honestly. My heart's racing. It's because you guys are not from you guys your past life was not on earth. Remember that reading? Mm-mm. You know what I just saw? Um, I'm watching Netflix, and there's like whenever it's on pause, there's different like TV shows that they show. It's like a little like mini trailer that they show. I just peeked and I saw Bloodline, um, one of the TV shows. I actually watched it. It's called Bloodline, but that word stood out to me. Something about that for you. All right, one more shuffle. Alright, Spirit, can you please grab my energy? 
I don't want to operate at different frequencies right now. <laughs> the ascent. That's what it feels like. You and your lonesome. You and your depth. As above, so below this is. Because when I saw you, it was like you were descended into self. You were descended into the depths. Here you have the ascent. And look at the white sun. Look at the white sun. That's crazy. I'm telling you. Let's read this. Oh, my heart. They're saying don't read it. Why? They're saying don't read it. I'm like looking at all these words, they look jumbled. Okay. Sorry guys. I think it's just the image they want to show. The only thing that I took from that, the only actually words that I could like physically process was there is a goal that's high above you. There's something high above you. It's the sun. It's the sun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The lookout. You have your commitment. That's a love contract. This is part of your eons, eons, eons of data. You're going to be in a relationship. We'll talk about that in your love reading. And then you have your winged messengers. This is spirit. Look at the sun. This is a two of cups. Well, two of roses. One, you have the one and the two of roses. Look at the seats, they're empty. Where are you guys taking me? Um, there's something high above you. It's the sun. Look at this person. In a built in a the ship's on fire. This reminds me of the tower. You're looking above. You're looking for help. Look at the bottom. God is Hecate, the in between. I've been talking about this in between for a very long time. A very, very, very long time. The in between. Number 19. It's just number 10. If you reduce it down. See your crown? Do you see that?
the beloved. Okay, there's something going on with your love life that's really um, taking form. The beloved, sorry, the beloved, the winged messengers, and commitment. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in your love in your love spread. There's something like really happening here um, with your with your spiritual ascent because you went to the depths the ghost dance and the rattle this is honestly what it felt like like it was what I saw it was so it was so dark it was unbelievably dark and it's like, I just saw this, like, this figure. I saw you with the light. Everything else was just misty, ghosty. It was just dark. It was just, it was so dark. This rattle here, this is like to make noise. This is to rattle out. You know, when you're, you're, when you, um, when you work with spirit, when you feel, um, uh, like energies that are unwanted you just clap your hands and when you clap your hands it distorts the energy it kind of breaks it apart this is what this rattle is doing it's breaking apart energy it's breaking apart this energy here this ghost this mist it's breaking apart some sort of energy it's dispersing it it's like burning it away see how this person this person's also at a peak okay it's like after your descent into the the very depths okay of this it's almost like as well like you use this like rattle i don't know it's like you use this rattle energy to to make your way through the depths to make your way inwards inwards okay and then after you sat there for a long time I'm going to talk about what happened there in just a little bit because that, that's these cards here. Um, but in your ascent, okay, from the, from, the, from the depths, okay, you reach the peak. This is the peak. There's a lot of energies that are kind of like, this is what dispersed. This is what the rattle kind of um, broke away burned away so to speak purified there's a purification of energy here that's taking place for you right now okay does that make sense all right and there's something high above you it's the sun the sun literally you're like it's so crazy some of you could be in and out of of the the depths and and um, and this energy. So some of you could be traveling to I'll just say like the lower world of self and the um, the the middle world, which is here. So you're in between. The lower world and the middle world some of you are sitting there remember that reading that I that I did for you a while ago some of you are experiencing the end and the beginning at the same time this is not that you're in between two dimensional worlds you're in between them you're in between the lower world you're in between our world the middle world you're somewhere here so you're you're making your way up to the ascent you're making your way up okay i feel like you, i feel like some of you might be really uncomfortable <laughs> i feel like some of you are uncomfortable um it's okay listen you're exactly where you need to be okay now in the depths no they're saying no in the in between okay spirit thank you so hecate is saying in the in between what's taking place right now is a water dance what 
I'm just looking at the wild woman. I'm seeing the water dance. I have no idea what that is. Because I'm hearing this rattle. That's what I hear. Rattling energy. And it's like you're you're dancing with the rattle. You're dancing at a frequency. You're transmuting energy. Again, I just I just see like I hear this rattle and I see this energy being dispersed. It's actually being dispersed as above, so below. This is you in the in-between, hearing this rattle frequency, dispersing this energy. It's dis it's dispersing the energy in the depths of you, so clearing out. Um, emotions, clearing out traumas, clearing out so, some sort of energy that's within the depths of you and it's also clearing, so it's clearing out energy from the lower world and it's also clearing out energy from the, uh, in the middle world, okay, purifying energy here, here and in the, in the, in the lower world, okay, and then you have the sun frequency, the sun frequency, what do they say? There's a there's a, a higher goal above you. The sun. There's something above you. Okay. That's the sun. Okay. The giveaway. You're giving away something to the sun. So in this in between. Okay, so not only is there a water dance that's transmuting energy from the lower world and the middle world, there's also a giveaway that's happening in the in-between with the sun, okay? What does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Um, it's an exchange with the sun. So it's like, It's like you're giving away your old self. It's like you're giving away the person that you used to be. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to let go of, is the person that we used to be. It's the giveaway. I'm giving away my old self. I'm giving away my old patterns. I'm giving away my distorted belief systems, I'm giving away my illusions, I'm giving away my attachments, okay? I think that's a, that's an action for some of you guys. Maybe write that down, burn it afterwards, I don't know. Do whatever it is that you need to do your ex and, and make sure you do it in front of the sun, okay? This person is looking directly at the sun. Okay, you're, the sun is going to give you something in return. I don't know what that is. Okay, but the sun is healing. The sun is purification, um, illumination. The sun is light. The sun is a life force. Okay, there's some sort of force. Here with the circle, this is just spirit encircling you. Okay, around this... You are being enveloped by spirit's grace. Okay, you're in the center. Okay, that's also what's being ha what's taking place in the in between. Um, I don't want to go to any tarot for you. <laughs> I feel like this is your message. This is where you are. You're in the you're in between. Okay, you're doing a water dance. You're doing a giveaway with the sun. You're being enveloped in this um in spirit's grace you are operating at different frequencies what you will start to operate at different frequencies when you get out of this in between okay you're you're gonna feel like how i felt all right 
um, channeling your energy. Okay, that's the I. That's exactly what I saw. The white light around your head. It's crazy. Eons of data. So much data that you got when you went into the depths. Okay, don't be afraid to go there. All right, spirit is protecting you. You, some of you, you guys are there. I don't need to tell you. You're the hermit. It's like your, it's your comfort place is in, is in depth. I'm tired. Um, let me go to, let's just, sorry. Hope I'm not ruining my mic. Okay, one second. Let's go to the Gaia Tarot. Let's just get a, a card for you, however many spirit wants to communicate before we close this one and move into your love reading. I hope this like makes I hope this makes sense. Is what I got for you. <laughs> okay. Um all right. Oh, they said one more shuffle. I'm tired, I don't want to shuffle. Oh man, operating at those many frequencies is is fatiguing. Um I feel like you'll learn how to adjust. Oh my god, the two of cups really again? <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna read that in just a little bit. Let's get one more here to close off your spiritual growth reading. want to come out the ten of cups oh the water dance <laughs> oh, queen of water okay spirit spirits like you heard us correct because i've never heard of the water dance i'm like what is the water dance and they're like you heard us correct it's the water dance okay um do you one more sorry there's one more It's just this like beautiful, um, yeah, healing. See, healing. It's this beautiful um, and self journey. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the split. Do you see the, the dark abyss here? That's where you were. I f see, the, see, you're making a transition from here to there. That's where you're going. That's where you're going. This is where you are. See here, you're in between these two worlds. A spirit's just confirming that. That's your journey. That's your journey. There's a dragonfly on one end and there's a butterfly on the other. See, heavy transformation takes place in the depth. Okay? Now, once you come out of that, the depth, okay? you're in between now you're going to be going up the ascent okay into this light do you see that it's again it's it's white light it's a sun okay this is the dragonfly so it's more it's the dragonfly transcends illusions the dragonfly truly transcends dimensions okay that's what's taking place here all right so that's just confirmation of the journey the self is reminding me of this energy here of the lookout of of this burning ship do you see these fire dragons right here and it feels like there's light of fire on your hands okay this is remember i'm like what are you exactly giving away 
you're giving away an old version of self you're creating you're it's like you're being pur purified by fire you're creating a new version of self i don't know how many times you go through iterations of self but it's like non-stop non-stop it's you're just like you're just <laughs> wow wow so you have dragon energy here helping you you also have your spirit with the white doves okay um this is that's also another frequency so you have two dimensional spirits here helping you this is what i'm saying you're operating at those levels okay so <laughs> um dragons help you see the inner and outer dimensions of self these doves here are representing peace these doves are also carrying away energies that are no longer necessary for you in order to um to sustain a level of peace within the self within the mind within the spirit and the body okay if you've been feeling really stressed lately i feel like that's going to shift and change my heart's racing again it's this energy that makes me anxious okay healing is not easy it's not but you guys um you guys just go for it you guys are wild <laughs> you guys are wild all right so that's what this journey is it's powerful healing essence um excuse me they're saying that's what the water dance is the water dance is to move it's to flow energy in it's to flow energy out it's to allow the emotions that have been um harboring inside of you harboring inside of your being it's to help it's that's what this rattle is okay that's the that's the frequency that you are dancing to okay that's this water dance okay see here it's like you're bringing up these creatures you're bringing up these elements okay it's almost like you're um you're moving with them you're flowing with them there's so much fluidity and dance that i'm seeing here okay so this is this rattle is the magic that's what i hear and all of it is like being broken apart being spread apart um it's just flowing in and out of your being it's being purified by fire it's being um cleansed by these waters okay some of you could also be be seeing frogs look at the frogs okay um frogs are bringers of rain okay so if you see a frog that's confirmation that you're healing move your body i'm not saying that you need to dance but maybe that might help okay um there's also rattle music that you can listen to on youtube okay i recommend that because there's something very significant of this energy for you um even just like exercise even walking okay it's just move your body okay because i feel like you're shaking something off okay the energy is dispersing okay um and here you have the beautiful three of pentacles I feel like you I feel like coming out of this energy I feel like this is after you come out of this in-between energy um, see this is where the Sun comes in handy because the Sun is the life force the Sun is the, the life force for things to grow especially in nature for us so you're planting new seeds you're watering the seeds and you're allowing the Sun to do the rest for growth okay all right okay <laughs> all right i got so excited in your energy be yourself love yourself you are beautiful you are powerful you are fearless virgo okay let's get into your love reading because love came out with your message okay so the cards that we got in the akashic tarot is commitment and the two of roses and the two of cups and the beloved look at all this red look at this red fire passion 
purification. There's something very pure about this connection. It's just like, it's just pure love. It's just, it's just pure is what I'm getting here immediately. Okay. Um, the thing that is really sticking out to me is the fact that there is a contract here. Okay. And when I started to get into your energy and um, showcasing to you what I saw in my vision and how you were downloading and capturing eons of data from your Akashic records, part of that data was a contract with someone. Okay. I feel like for majority of you, you haven't met them yet or you haven't come together yet. There's two chairs here. None of them are sitting at the table. Keyword, yet. Okay? But there are winged messengers here. There's an angel that is holding a scroll. This is the same scroll that is here in this contract. There's no coincidence that the one of roses and the two of roses came out together out of the Akashic Records tarot for you. Okay? So this is the same scroll, same contract. It's almost as if this angel is reading the contract. Reading the contract. And what's happening here when this um, angel reads the contract this bird is taking intaking in that information and almost um oh oh my goodness that see that's exactly what i what i'm saying there's actually if you look closely this bird is actually holding a contract holding the scroll so it, this bird is delivering the contractual messages to the two people that are coming together. It's your beloved. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Mm. I don't know what cards to use for you. Let's use the good tarot. I feel like, um, again, I, I believe I already said this. Um, there's also something about a sunset. Sorry, my mind, my brain kind of went elsewhere. There's something about a sunset. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, some of you, you haven't met this person at all. Okay. And for others of you, um, you do know of them, but you haven't come together. Okay. Please take this however it applies to you. Please take it however it resonates with you. Okay. Spirit is sending this message out because it needs to be heard by some of you, okay? Look at that, the Two of Cups, again, <laughs> while I'm breaking the deck to shuffle. I'm not going to take it. If it comes out again, it will, but it won't leave the bottom of the deck. Seven of Earth. At the bottom of that you have the seven of the the chariot, which is number seven. So you have your seven seven. Seven seven is divine creation, divine perfection. Okay. Um you could be seeing seven seven or seven seven seven.
The Six of Pentacles, Six of Earth. The Six of Air, the Six of Swords. Could be a Scorpio. See how that card flew out? Transformation number 13. came out flipped right back into the deck the magician number one you have a one one the one of roses and the magician so you could be seeing one 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 temptation number 15 call number 20 there's those winged messengers coming through and call messenger of air again winged messengers messenger of air air birds winged messengers confirming themselves okay Strength. Ace of Fire. Three of Swords. And Messenger of Water with the Three of Earth and the Ace of Cups underneath that. Okay. Six of Water. Three of Swords. All right, I can... I, this is um, a very specific relationship. Okay? Uh, they're bringing a lot of past life information to me and I don't always channel past life but when they do they do someone was a sailor in their past life um someone died at sea because I'm seeing I'm seeing um I'm seeing pain here from from the past six of water three of swords if you have done past life regression um and you understand or if, sorry, if that resonates with you, okay, um, that might be just a message for someone out there to receive confirmation, okay? Someone was a sailor, okay, they died at sea, okay, there was heartbreak in the connection. I'm seeing a lot of water energy, so there's, there's something to do with water in a past life, okay, but they showed me a ship. They're showing me someone at a ship and them dying at sea. Their body was never found. Their body never got returned to you to grieve, to, um, uh, never, um, to bury. Okay? I'm seeing a lot of pain with that. Um... Uh, okay, sorry, um, someone's loved one has also passed away, like someone's husband or someone's wife died in this lifetime. Okay, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. Um, I don't mean to trigger anybody. Spirit really needs to relay that confirmation because the spirit of that individual is coming through. They want you to move on. They want you to move forward. That's also a message that's coming through. Sorry. (sighs) 
Okay. I don't know who that's for, if it's for more than one person, okay? Um, they are encouraging you to find love again, okay? They're saying that we're always connected, um, okay? Now, um... For those of you that have been um, dealing with <laughs> overall, okay, no matter how you resonate with this, there has been a lot of pain in the relationships that you have been in, okay, because I'm seeing temptation, I'm seeing three of swords, I'm seeing six of cups. Okay, there's, there's a lot of pain that has been endured when it comes to um, bearing love for one another, for someone, okay? A lot of heartbreak, um, a lot of um, wishes that have been unfulfilled, a lot of empty words, a lot of um, disappointments. It's just, it seems to stem through through past life pain okay I, that's coming up a lot okay because we received the akashic um contracts here okay i'm seeing a lot of um karmic cycles karmic ties being broken um being transmuted because energy doesn't die threads that we have between people they don't when when we say like cut cords it's just like releasing the energy but we don't necessarily cut the cord and it like that connection just dies it just the energy between you and another person that it, it just gets transmuted okay it becomes healed it becomes transmuted um okay so i am seeing a lot of that energy you do have here death transformation this is scorpio energy so there's a lot of this transmutation of energy that's taking place in, taking place excuse me in your romantic love life okay i am seeing you be taken in a new direction where a lot of balance is going to be restored okay six of pentacles six of air you could be seeing six 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 okay i'm not here for the stigma i'm not here for the judgment that's what i said six 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 okay which is a call, a call to balance, okay? So you do have here um, the temptation card, okay? So there has been a lot of energy that has been um, like taken from your heart, okay? It's been throwing you off balance, okay? So this is a call to balance so this transformation card this transmutation energy is in your life here for for that purpose okay for healing for transmuting pain okay there's lots of healing taking place if you watch the beginning of the reading you'll kind of see that um now this new person okay that you are coming together with okay so I'm, I'm moving away from this past energy or even for some of you if you're in a relationship right now that's causing you a lot of pain okay that's causing you a lot of struggle mentally emotionally spiritually okay i am seeing that be transmuted i'm seeing that being shed because there's there's something here that there's a new contract. This is a new contract that you haven't fulfilled yet with another, with another soul. Okay, for some of you, you have begun it, but it hasn't been um, solidified yet, I want to say. 
like consecrate is that the right word consecrated yet is that the right word okay like solidified yet so this is the energy that is manifesting in your life only when the energy of the old gets transmuted and shed okay magic is another word for miracles so i am seeing here a lot of rebirth energy and birthing of new energies okay with the seahorse the ace of cups the ace of water this is about fertility and birth okay so you have transmutation rebirth energy and new birthing energies that are taking form okay this love this pure love that i feel spirit is confirming it's your beloved okay this is this is something that you have contracted into you're going to be in a commitment with someone soon okay this love is taking form okay that's what the magician and the seven of earth is telling me the intentions have already been set okay when the when when the contract was written the magician and the seven of earth energy is saying that it's being taken form okay it's being created in form in this reality in your cycle There's Leo energy, Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, um, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy. Um, you have a lot of Aquarius energy. Cancer, I said Cancer. Okay. There's also an energy here that is... Like I said, being formed, it's sitting right underneath strength. There's um, some anger. There's some wild, it's, it's like a, no, it feels like anger. There's some sort of anger that someone needs to tame. Someone needs to get a hold of themselves. Someone is, um very angry about a situation okay when anger and that kind of emotion festers it makes it very difficult for us to move forward and actually um suppresses ourselves we like we suppress our emotions anger to me is suppressed emotion so there's some sort of emotion that needs to be released okay and tamed is what i'm feeling here with strength but i am seeing that any challenges that you face in love are, are going to be overcome. And remember, energy can be interchangeable, so I could be talking about the other person. Okay, so this is the message, messenger of air. It's just the winged messengers, again, confirming the energy. Okay, this is spirit calling this in, calling this energy of love, this contract. It's like an, an initiation. Okay, this is the be beginning of this contract to take form. Um, see the seahorse here? So this is really interesting. Um, there's messengers that are going to these two people and the messengers are coming in different forms. Okay, so the person that has been experiencing the pain the most pain okay heartache whoever experienced either a death of a loved one um i i felt it specifically a wife or a husband of theirs it could also be a family member for some of you um for those that have experienced the death in the past life and you've remembered it um, maybe even for some of you, it's simply the heartache from past relationships, okay? The message of this contract that is being initiated, initiated is coming 
in a form it'll both of them are coming in a dream state or a remembrance type of energy but it's coming in a form of a bird so you're going to see a bird act differently speak to you differently like you know in their chirpy way um, but you're going to understand what they have to say okay so when you so spirit is sending a bird that's the sign for you that this relationship this person this contract has been initiated and this love is starting to take form okay so if i'm talking to you and that's resonating with you this pain this heartache look out for birds Um, specifically, they're showing me specifically, for some of you, it's a dove, a white dove, okay, or a, a falcon or a hawk, okay? The other person is, whoever is experiencing like anger, these festered emotions, um, suppressing their emotions, okay, uh, fears, attachments, um, okay because there's like linear parallel energies that you both are kind of healing through anyway so the other person is receiving the message by a seahorse okay so they're going to dream of a seahorse they're going to dream of or seeds okay they said it could be a seed as well okay the seahorse is representative of fertility the seahorse is representative of um healing emotions okay so some sort of emotion is going to be healed so this person is going to see a seed that's what they're saying to me um pearls as well pearls Someone also gave someone pearls, okay? That might resonate with someone. Um, but this person's message of this connection taking form, whether they are consciously aware of it or in their subconscious mind, they're going to see seeds or a seahorse or pearls, okay? This is what I'm talking about, this energy taking form. A sapphire is all about creation, Okay, this is creation of this beloved energy. You see all this fire? This is creation. You see all the red? See that? It's taking form. Creation. Okay? Three of Earth, three of Pentacles. This card always comes out to me as... Um, two souls working with spirit okay which is very similar to this energy okay these two souls and spirit so you have here the same thing with the three of pentacles okay it's even in the same shape so the three of pentacles is usually like the two circles and the one up top okay so it's the same thing here these two chairs two pentacles and the one pentacle up top okay so this is spirit um this is also, see this person is kind of looking out into the far distance. This is almost like foreseeing this connection coming. Okay, it's a chariot. This is um, a very specific reading of these two souls coming together. Please label it, describe it however you want. I am uh, just reading the energy for what it is, okay? Um, it's a very specific message. I do not think this is going to resonate with a lot of people. Um, it isn't for a lot of people, they're saying, okay? I just need to be direct. I need to be truthful. This is the energy that I'm getting. Um, please take whatever applies to you, okay, and leave the rest, okay? All right.
when I say it's not for a lot of people, like, I mean, it's, um, they're saying it's, it's, it's a small group. It's a small group in the collective consciousness. Okay. Okay, this is what I have. That's the message that spirit need to relay. I hope it resonated with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.